What you are seeing is the 400XS air turbine rotary tool. And the craziest thing about this is that it spins up to 400,000 RPMs. You can see in the middle of recording this video, I am working on many projects and learning how to use this tool to its full potential. And I'm excited to show you guys how this works. In order to power this, we need three components, an air tank, a regulator, and the 400 XS handpiece. To hook this up, I'm connecting an air tube to a regulator, and from the regulator to a silent air compressor. From here, I'm connecting it all to the handpiece. I'm using the Fortress brand silent air compressor from Harbor Freight, and it is a 10 gallon. After I let the tank fill, I'm adjusting the compressor to 60 PSI and the regulator to 37 PSI, which is the recommended output settings for these components. And guys, the bits for this tool are small. I mean, look at this bit compared to a standard Dremel bit. I mean, there is no comparison. This thing is so tiny. To use this, I am going to insert the bit into the end of the chuck. And to lock this completely down, you want to get to a hard surface and press down. This should be locked in place now. The project I am working on right now is a custom tomahawk with the words Warrior 6 carved in the handle. I'm using a diamond bit and simply tracing out the letters with a transparent stencil that I made. And guys, I am absolutely blown away. Carving at this speed literally feels like I'm drawing with a smooth gel ink pen. And I waited to show you guys this live. This is actually the first time that I am carving with this and I wanted you to see my first reaction. I'm getting no vibrations whatsoever. And honestly, I've never used anything like this before because it is so buttery smooth. There is no friction. Now, when you are using traditional flex shafts or rotary drills, when you hit those hard grain areas, you will have what you call bit hop or runaways where the end of the bit will just run across your project and can potentially mess up what you are carving. I'm not having any of those problems and I'm able to carve straight lines and flow smoothly around the corners because of how fast this tool carves. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what is a better rotary tool, the Dremel, a Fordham, or this right here? And the appropriate answer for this question is, well, what tool is best for the task I am working on? This is a detailing tool, and while it can handle larger projects, it's not designed to hog out a bunch of wood like the Fordham is. With that being said, you don't necessarily need to carve real deep to make good relief carvings. As you can see here, I am able to carve very shallow and get great results. I'm going to finish up this project with some stippling and basic design elements. A quick tip for you guys, when it comes to stippling, you don't want to leave space in between the dots when you stipple. You want it to look random and without a pattern. Once I learned this, my carvings came out so much better. Now I'm going to add some stain, let it dry, and then apply some urethane.
And we are done. This looks great. I am so impressed with the results that I got from the tool. And this is actually going out to its owner tomorrow and its payday for me. So I'm excited about that, which this actually leads me to my next point, and that is pricing. The handpiece is on sale at the recording of this video for $499 or you can add the bundle with it with a regulator and other items for $799. They also sell a compressor, but I wanted something a little bigger, so I went with the 10-gallon Fortress Silent Air Compressor from Harbor Freight. To be transparent with you, the guys over at SEM Systems did send this out to me to test, but they did not ask for a review or anything positive. I'm giving you my strict, unbiased opinion of this. And who is this made for? Well, it's made for professionals and hobbyists alike. I will not pretend that this is not pricey because it is. The people that buy this, well, they're buying it to make money with. And that is something that if you are serious, I highly recommend it. The results that I got here speak for themselves. You can get crazy detailed with this thing. And honestly, guys, I have never seen anything like this before because of the way it carves. This just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Just the versatility of this tool is like you can do anything with it from glass to wood to eggs, all kinds of different things that you can do because of the high speed. This video is impromptu and I did not even plan to make this. The full video review will be coming soon to you guys, so I am going to save a lot of details for that video. I just wanted to give you guys a first look at this. I'm just so excited to use this. I have been using it nonstop and it is amazing. If you guys haven't done it and you would like to learn wood carving, be sure to download my free ebook below. I know you will love it. And also, I have my Project Idea Guide mini course. It's full five-star ratings. You guys go check it out if you're into that, and I will see you in the next video.